We love Thanks hip-hop. Thanks your true captain. We had a great conversation yesterday. Three hour plus interview. Not plus, three hour interview. But I chopped a piece of it out of here just so that you know we could maybe have a conversation about something he said here. One city in the world in music. I want to take a quick break. We're the number one city in the world in music. I want to take a quick break from this episode to give a big shout out to Only Loud. Can like, period. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I said this on stream too. And a lot of my Americans. That's a big statement though. No, no, no. But it's the, I think it's true. Because I said this on stream and a lot of the people in my stream are, are Americans. Mm. So I was like, yo, Toronto is the number one city in music. And they didn't believe me. So I had to make a whole, and I think, shout out to uh, Real Toronto News, they posted it on my page. I made an entire, like, because most of the people in my chat are niggas. Mm. So I explained it in basketball terms. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is a Toronto starting five. We got Tory Lanez in point guard. We got Justin Bieber in shooting guard. <laughs> we got The Weeknd in small forward. Biggest artist in the world, by the way. Mm. We got Drake in power forward position. Wow. And I think I put like Daniel Caesar in like the center position or whatever. Right. Yeah, or yeah, I might have yeah, put yeah. Marty next. This is unedited. So you, that's why you're not seeing the back and forth right now. It's just unedited. Or whatever. Right? Yeah. I was like, first of all, nobody's beating this starting five. The, our backcourt is like 100 mil on Spotify alone. Mm -hmm. The Weeknd is the number one artist in the world currently, right now. Talk to him. Yeah. Drake is Drake. Yeah. Like, Daniel Caesar is like an R&B legend mm -hmm. from here. You know? Yeah. And then I was like, nobody's beating that starting five. Each of these guys have twenty over 20 mil monthly listeners on Spotify alone. Justin Bieber is the vet. <laughs> and he's young as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Justin Bieber is the vet out of all of these guys. Yeah. And he's probably younger than all of them. Than all of them. Yeah. Right? So then I took it even further. And I was like, forget about that. This Nobody's beating this starting five, first mm -hmm. of all. Like, this starting five is on Spotify alone. Half a billion monthly. Yeah. On Spotify alone. David Foster, writer for such greats as Celine Dion. But that's that's much y'all. But David but Foster, then I, yes, definitely. Name the bench. I was like, yo, we got Party Next Door, Sixth Man. Mm. Off the bench. You got Nav, Sixth Man off the bench. Keep yeah. in mind, Party Next Door, tens of millions, over 20 million monthly listeners as well. Yeah. Nav, tens of millions, monthly listeners as well. Mm-hmm. Press Machine, off the bench. Mm -hmm. Jesse Reyes, off the bench. Mm -hmm. Sean Mendez, off the bench. Sean Mendez, yeah. I forgot about Killy, Sean Mendez. off the... <laughs> Yo. Like, bro, Killy, Roy yeah. Woods, Division. Yeah. We can keep smiling. Brother, we could keep going on and on and we on. We have a lot. Ooh -wee. That boy spitting. Is the boy, your true captain, speaking facts? One in the chat for yes, two in the chat for no. And I also have a poll that's running here asking, is Toronto number one city in music? We're definitely number one in rats, but we'll get to that later. But are we number one in music? Oh, bro, that boy cooked just now. I don't know if we need to rewind that. B -b 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 bring it back, pull it back, rewind, heal up, read up, bring it back, oh, rewind. Let's do the starting five again. Justin Bieber in shooting guard, <laughs> in basketball terms. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is a Toronto starting five. We got Tory Lanez in point guard. We got Justin Bieber in shooting guard. <laughs> we got The Weeknd in small forward, biggest artist in the world, by the way. Mm. We got Drake in power forward position. Wow. And I think I put like Daniel Caesar in like the center position or whatever. Right. Yeah, or yeah, I might've yeah, put party yeah. next door or whatever. Right? Yeah. I was like. Okay. Let me bring in a couple of people here. Yo. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you clear. One second. Let me bring in AGB. What AGB. Up, what, up? what up? What up? What up? So the question that is here. Is Toronto numero uno in music? And we're not talking about in Canada. 
<laughs> All right? Because the, the young brother goes on to bring why his points make sense, too. It's not a Canada thing. It's North America. You know what I'm saying? New York is maybe the only one that has a better starting lineup. So what do y'all think? Let's go. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for earlier. It's raining cats and dogs out here, so I had to go help out. You know what I mean? No worries, no worries. Um, yeah, no, I would say Toronto, I, I would say it's up there. How do I say this? Wait, let me ask you this Friday before you answer your question. Mm. Is the UK, is London and New York challenging Toronto? That, that's the only things, and I, I'll play a little bit more in a minute because he does say that those are the only two places that can compete with Toronto. But L.A. doesn't have a starting five like that. Hell, though. It's really only I, just Kendrick, yeah. literally. Why did you yeah. him tell you and, make and, the and, bench? And, and, and Tyler. Oh, yeah. For, wait, it's, oh, I forgot Tyler's L.A. Sorry, I don't know why I thought he was like, like Texas or something like that. But the thing I would say with that, bro, is like Toronto definitely has the starting five for sure with with those names. But Mm -hmm. like all the people he was naming kind of fell off a cliff right after the first five, right? So I feel like y'all got the top five, but you definitely have no bench. Like you got one of the worst benches in the league. Oh, that's that's crazy. Because it's like you're going from Drake to Pressa. It's like no disrespect to Pressa, but that's more than one level you're jumping. Like I feel like somewhere like New York, You'd have like fifty people in that the, like bench position that I, make it, you know. And and that's where I would step in and say I think I agree with that. The only and the reason why I say that is after you leave Drake, you literally go right down into a full soul like not like an R and B a whole full. I actually would go as far as to say this: Toronto is number one, number uno in R and B. I don't even. No, no, hold on, it. hold on. He said music. We're not talking about rap. We're talking about just music. That's oh, why he said all. Justin Bieber. Um, oh, okay. All right. you know what I'm saying? Sean Mendez. And and to answer your question or to, to rebut what you're saying there, um, AGB, yes, after you start getting to the, the third string of the bench, let's say, respectfully, then it starts to thin out a little bit, right? But what he was mentioning as far as bench players, he was saying party next door. Yeah, I agree. Sean Mendez. Um, division. These are all major acts, bro. Well, what about what about um? Is Gibeon um Canadian? Gibeon? Um, no, no. Oh, he's not. Okay. I mean, what he's saying definitely like y'all definitely have a lot of music power that's slept on when you really start going over the names, right? Like, yeah. No, it's I don't know, man. Like. I'll play a little I, bit more of what he says here, and then, and then I'll, I want to get y'all opinion. The one thing off the bench, I think like you got you nav. Guys, I think that's why you got to do it for 20, 30 years more. You know what I'm saying? Like I think New York, LA, places like this, they just ha- have had that stuff longer and before. You know, I think that's yes. the one caveat. And he, right let now, me reiterate: he did mention that in this in this rant here that New York and the UK would be the only ones that would have more. Or Matt Toronto. Yeah, I agree. So he's not delusional, you know what I'm saying? Right. But um, as far as like these other places, and I seen somebody in the comments, have you forgotten about Atlanta? I think that was down to earth. I understand, but he'll definitely get into it. Uh, maybe it's around here. Off the bench. Mm-hmm. Jesse Reyes, off the bench. Yes. Off the <laughs> Yo. Like, bro, Kill Roy yeah. Woods, Division Smiley is the coach. <laughs> Hold on. Wow, Cardinal off, official is the coach. <laughs> Cardinal official is our coach. That's Jeez. crazy. Would the yo he Cardinal official would be like the Pat Riley for us right yeah. there. That's Holy insane. Lee. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's a Cuzzy. sick team right there. You know, who was meeting? And I was like, and I was like. And they're arguing with me. We need a jersey for bro, that. Bro, they were arguing with me, and I was like, yo, first of all, you're not beating the starting five, but even if the whole starting five is injured, you're not taking on our bench either. Yeah. Like, yeah. our bench is somebody's starters in another city. Yeah. So then I was like, yo, break it down to me. Tell me who's going to beat us. Give me a starting five. They're like, LA's beating you guys. How? I'm like, 
who do you got in LA? It's like, oh, Roddy Rich. I'm like, yo, Roddy Rich. <laughs> no, the way you I'm just like, broke it down, when you just broke it down, like as a, at a starting scene yeah. and stuff like that, when I think about other cities, I'm like, yeah, they have they a have huge what? population and they have history. Yeah. But right now, can you put together a starting team, like That's say from compete. LA, of current guys? Guys. That, oh, hold on. I can see the comments already. Glaze Fest, Glaze Fest are doing their thing, I, it's hard to do. Bro, man. like Kendrick LA, will be in there somewhere. Like Kendrick for sure. will be in there. Fucking what? Tyler the Creator. Tyler but bro, the you're Creator. Not, you're not like LA is not competing with us respectfully. Yeah, yeah. Like we're beating those guys. Yeah. Shout out to Chicago, Kanye and all that shit. Kanye, Kanye Lil Dirk, Dirk, Chief Keith, well, all not that Dirk shit. Now, but yeah. But they're not competing with us. Yeah. Right. And free Dirk, by the way. <sighs> Talk to me. Hear me out. Listen to this. Now tell me what you're going to say, okay? Ready? Mm. This is Atlanta Zone. Future? 21. Uh-huh. Quavo. <laughs> Little Baby. Uh, how much am I on there? Four? You got four. Uh, yeah, you have four. Yeah. But four, one, I... of your, one of your players... Eesh. Might have to trade him, but keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, why am I why am I bugging? I'm missing one. See, I'm just, even though I'm struggling. So you said the future, future, um, twenty-one, uh, twenty-one, Quavo, little baby, a little baby, and who the yo chat? Who would you put in number five? We're I don't, talking about uh, just current artists, right? Like not like. Or are we talking about always? Like ever? I think we're talking about current artists because yeah, right. everybody he named was current. And I even right. mentioned there um, to add the extra glaze, pause, um, that um, Justin Bieber, as the youngest, per- he's one of the youngest person people on that starting lineup, and he's a vet. Bro. Thanks to Diddy. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> he's a vet, I'm sure. But, but yo, Friday, to answer this question, the reason why places like New York, London, and Toronto are so are, are a huge manufacturer of talent, musical talent, is because there is culture in these cities. Mm. There's a diversity in culture in these cities, lifestyle and expression and language and color and fashion is prevalent in these cities. There is culture. And that's why you'll always yeah, have right. Toronto, New York, and London always producing a high volume of active, present talent. Yeah. Um, uh, somebody said here in the comments, uh, Aura said, for LA, I guess, Kendrick Lamar, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? It's not correct. That's, 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 I stopped right there already because we're not talking about all time. Because, you know, just salute to y- uh, your true captain. As soon as he mentioned a vet like Cardinal, like a vet vet like that, like an older head, he's like, that's the coach. Snoop Dogg could be the coach for the LA team. Uh, right. I could do that. Yeah. Okay, but then the next names are Dr. Dre, YG, who fell off, in my opinion, yeah, respectfully YG, and Ice Cube. You got bare old niggas on your... Yo, these niggas is your, your starting five lineup, bro? All these old niggas? Bro, that's like... That's like... Yeah. Bro, that's like... Bro, that's it. I know I'm not gonna. I know Toronto's gonna chop my head out, but that's like way back when Toronto Raptors were trying to get in the team. You know, <laughs> like all these guys are. All those yeah. acts are amazing, legendary acts and everything like that. But ain't them them got anything hot out right now. Dr. Dre never even dropped the Detox Two, or do, dropped the uh, the Chronic Two or whatever he was supposed to Detox. I don't, I don't know. Right now, if we're to go in NBA, it's only gonna be New York, Atlanta, and Toronto to shoot it out. And yeah. they get washed off the park. I don't know about Texas. I mean, Texas. But wait, you're telling me that Montreal doesn't have a starting five like that? Well, well, thank you very much. As the Montrealer, uh, we're both Montrealers, but as the the our Montreal correspondent, right there, ground zero on the scene. Give me the starting five for Montreal. Let's go. Montreal doesn't really have a starting five. Who like French really- or English? I mean, if you want to go French, you could, but like. I mean, being huge as a French artist is not really the equivalent to being like where where your starting five is, right? Just give me a starting five, bro. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, gotta, you got you got tested. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna forget some names and I, I don't want to. Anima is definitely in there. Anima's gotta be in there. He's probably sure. number like, one. But like when you've got him on a list, it like he him at the top of your list compared to like a Drake is like we're talking different leagues here. Yes, but we still talking, Montreal's got a semi pro team. <laughs> Who would you oh, say that's the D League? No. <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean, oh no, step up, bro. The rap music. Oh no, um, that was definitely bro. number one. Step. Um, QP Don's got to be on that list. I think he's still QP Don. He's got to be oh, on that list. I think he's free. Um, I think he's free. Yeah, I think he who else? Out recently, but I'm not sure. Um, there's his other man who he raps with, um, Lebs K or whatever you say. He would have to probably be on that list too because they both do pretty big numbers and they're one of the hottest like groups going around right now. Um, there was somebody who I just covered the other day on on uh, on here that was doing their thing. Um, I thought Lil Bentley. He might be off the bench because he's very new. Yeah, he's getting there, but I mean, he's got like the thing is with him is he's English, so it like he's got like he's not gonna hit the numbers that these other guys are getting just because of that. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's almost like going into a game and you got a bad ankle or something. You know, Damn. Like, it's, it's gonna hold your points down. Um, there's think. another one, Simon. Is Kitchenada a rapper? Kitchenada is is more of a DJ, but he's definitely Montreal's biggest expert. And remember, this is not just rap. This is just music. So if you want to put Montreal in the music category, and then we could just take Quebec in total, then you got to put Celine Dion on there. Well, I mean, but she's not current. That's the thing. But that's like, true. If we're going music in general, I can guarantee you there's like some French bands that I've never heard of <laughs> that have yeah. oh, tons yeah. of views and follow. I'm sure there's a couple French bands that would probably be the top of that list. That I've completely yeah. never heard of because I'm not the sovereignties. Yeah, there's something yeah. like the music I hear playing when I walk through the mall. It's like French punk rock or something. I know they'd be getting a bunch of views. So sure. is it safe to say that Toronto, as far as Canada, for sure, Toronto's crushing the top the top five? Everything. Well, I have a question. I can put I can, I'll put the cat among the pigeons, guys. Here, here's here's mm. a question for you. Ready? Top five up and coming new talent to run the game for the next 10 years. So you have to create the team for now for the next 10 years. Ooh, from Toronto? You got it. No, just generally. Who has it? Who's that? Who right now is the future of music? Is it still Toronto? Yeah, I still think Toronto will have people in there. Right? Tory Lanez hasn't reached his full potential yet. Once he touches road after his bid in the generation that he'll be out in, in He'll be one of the top artists in my, just in my prediction. Yeah. Right? Also, kind of like Tory Lane is like Drake handing over the torch kind of vibe to him type of vibe. Yeah, like if Tory Lane comes home in like seven years, let's say, or six years, and Drake is not the top guy anymore, then Tory Lane will become the top guy coming out of Canada or coming out of yeah, Ontario. Yeah, okay. I agree because you know his music's gonna be on point. Like he doesn't. Yeah. With music. He has the talent. I like his music. I have to admit, really, like, I love oh, his it's music. It's not good. It's gonna come out and it's gonna be fire. Exactly. I actually, I was yeah. just arguing with someone and said that Tory Lane is at the fusion of Drake and The Weeknd in one. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if I'm right in saying that, but you know what I mean. So yeah, the future, the future. Who's the future? Toronto is still the future, right? Well, there's going to be people from everywhere, obviously. Like, you know, I think, you know, you'll have somebody out of Atlanta that's going to be one of the top guys. New York will obviously all, always produce somebody. Um, as far as what I can predict from New York right now. I think A Boogie mm. is the guy right now. A boogie, a boogie might be cooling off if he has this. If he comes out with a bunch of more hits, like another a big campaign, he can reclaim yeah. the top spot. But like maybe a Kurt Cobain, am I saying his yeah. name right? Cash, Cash Cobain, Cash Cobain, Kurt Cobain. I was, I was like, I was <laughs> Cash Cobain, that's Nirvana, <laughs> Cash Cobain, that kind of wave, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I still think there'll be more lyrical guys that'll still be coming out of New York because that's just the base of where the shit came from. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. L.A., I don't know. Like, L.A.'s underground scene is definitely, definitely bubbling. But oh, somebody yeah, yeah. will have to emerge from there to really claim the top spot. But you know what that noise is, Bill? Tell me if I'm... Was Kendrick born in Compton? I, I don't know. Really? Why I said that, you know? I realized something. Even the people who rap LA never even were born in LA. 
like they left from their original state to go and live in LA. Like, the Tupac. So, I don't even want to get into that again. Joe. MC New so, York. Yeah, and he was like the king of the whole, the whole beef representing the West Coast. Yeah. Right? Mr. Baltimore, uh, you know, via New York. So. Bro, he's stupid. But, you know, RP Pac. But, like, you're, you're right in that sense. But, um, <laughs> you know, Chicago, the yeah. drill wave is dying because the whole thing that's going on with Dirk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man, that's it's crazy. Yeah, so. Crazy. Dirk would have been the one that would carry the torch and then yeah, pass he, it on to the next he, set of up and coming guys facts. from Chicago. That's but facts. they're they're putting the kibosh on that right now. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like how was that? It's like the fans are trying to like like put the lid on that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if you feel like rapping about that type of shit in the future, look at what happened to your to your hero right here. We're listening to your shit too. Yeah, if you want to rap about that, just be Slim Jesus, where they know it's all fake. Start lying. Everybody start lying. (laughs) It's okay. Like, if I was going to tell a story about something I really did in a rap, I would just change so many details. You could never tie it back to a real, like, that's what I don't understand. Tell fake stories. Or don't talk about M's. Don't talk about murders. We love hip-hop.